What's what? I look like why is my face so red? What what's going on there? Also look super different without the facial hair. Just a just a weird start. So we're hopping into today's Phillies rebuild. And if you're looking forward to it, make sure you hit that like button down below. As always, we're gonna be doing a poll for the next team that we're gonna do. And in the top right hand corner up here, yeah, this little corner up here, that's where that poll is gonna be. So click that little eye icon and it'll take you to a poll and you can pick the next team for the rebuild. So like I said, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And in the comment section today, I want you to tell me what you think the Phillies need to win a world series so go, go down there type something out leave a comment and let me know what you think about this phillies team if you missed yesterday's vandals episode it's gonna be on screen now i'll also put a link to it in the top corner go and give that a click so obviously you're gonna have the poll and then you got a link to yesterday's video go and give that one a watch too so like i said guys likes are the easiest way for me to know that you're still enjoying these rebuilds hit the like button down below and also if you haven't followed any of my social media, those are down in the description below. There's Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Go give those a follow. And also, there's my Twitch link. Go follow the Twitch link and, you know, be notified whenever I do go live on Twitch. We've been streaming almost every single night. Come hang out while we play some more franchise. We play some Diamond Dynasty. We really just kind of hang out, talk about baseball, talk about whatever. It's just a good place to hang out and just kind of spend your evenings. So that's about it, guys. Let's hop into this Phillies rebuild. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this. Just a normal team rebuild, not a revisit, not like some type of challenge. Let's just get into it. So let's talk about this team. I'm, I'm liking it. You know, Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler. And then when you look at the rest of the, the players that are here, probably need to boost the starting rotation a little bit. Zach Eflin is sometimes kind of a good three or four in a rotation for a franchise rebuild. But we'll have to wait and see how he performs. Obviously, Vince Velasquez, Spencer Howard, Ranger Suarez, Jojo Romero. There's some good young names there, but we at least need another three in the rotation just to really boost that rotation and get it MLB ready to be competitive right now. We don't really have that that player to be a three in the rotation. Jake Arrieta really isn't that guy anymore. So we at least need to find that for this season. When we take a look at the bullpen, we got Sir Anthony Dominguez. Hit or miss in franchise, really. He could be either really good or really bad. So hopefully, he's really good. We got Victor Arano, a couple other guys. But again, probably an area we'll look to improve. And then we look at David Robertson or Hector Neris. Usually pretty good. So hopefully, they're actually pretty good during this rebuild. At catcher, we got Real Muto. Again, another player who just is hit or miss. Sometimes he does really well in franchise. And sometimes he does really poorly. It's one of those things. And then we have Davey Grouillon, who, I mean, in the Twitch stream last night while we were doing a franchise, went off. He had like a 300 average, hit close to 30 home runs. So maybe we get that Davey Grouillon in this rebuild. But um, it all depends on if we replace Real Muto or not. So hopefully Real Muto does well. And then we can have Grouillon backing him up. But we'll have to wait and see. At first base, Reese Hoskins, I think, is a phenomenal option. I think we're going to be good there. Second base, Scott Kingery. We'll leave him there, see how he does, how he develops. Third base, Gene Segura, but I'm probably going to be looking to use Alec Baum because he's just absolutely insane. Shortstop, Didi Gregorius, but Bryson Stott, I definitely think, could like take over within a couple seasons. So I think we're going to have a really young infield that's going to develop very quickly, and I think we should be fine. When we look at left field, Andrew McCutcheon, he's not the same Andrew McCutcheon, obviously, coming off an injury in real life. I think he's still at least got at l maybe a year or two left, so we'll see how he does. Nick Williams, I think, is sometimes a very glitchy player for franchise so we might keep him around as well. In center field, I feel like this is the area we really need to bolster the lineup. Adam Halsley's okay, Roman Quinn's okay, but they're not MLB ready, and I don't even know if they will be MLB ready in this rebuild, so center field's probably an area I'm gonna look to improve. And then in right field, Bryce Harper, we don't gotta worry about that. We're set there. Our budget's in a really bad spot. We're actually over budget. We're at negative 55K, which is not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but we definitely need to get it back in a, a good spot. Jake Arrieta is one of those names we need to get rid of. Obviously, he becomes a free agent at the end of the year, but I think we should still try to trade him. And then we look at contracts like McCutcheon, kind of big. Gene Segura, kind of big. We got Gregorius, Jay Bruce, Robertson, you know, who else? Tommy Hunter, Logan Forsythe. Like, there's some big contracts here that I think we need to get rid of. Let's go do that. So this is what I'm thinking going forward. Maybe we move McCutcheon to center field for the rest of his contract or maybe even for a season. And we bring in David Dahl to play left field. I think that would be a pretty solid trade. We're going to send Gene Seguri, Gene Seguri, Gene Segura, Adam Hazley, and Kyle Garlick 
for David Dahl and Jake McGee. Jake McGee is just a one-year contract to make this deal go through. So this is the deal we're going to do. All right, this is just, just purely because I need a starter that's actually going to be decent for one season. And it gives us a little bit of space to work with. So Jake Arrieta, Cole Irvin, and Derek Hall are going to be traded for Jeff Smarjja. And you're like, well, that's another older pitcher why would you bring that in why would you trade a guy who's 64 overall and 26 years old well we have a lot of b potential pitchers that i think are going to develop and looking at his per nines they're not even in the 50s yet so we're going to trade him and get jake smarge jake jeff smarge for a season we're going to let smarge leave after this year and we should be fine that's the move i think that's it let's go look at the team all right johan rojas blake parker and robert stock for alec mills alec mills is going to be our long reliever now let's go take a look at the team because that should do everything so here's the bullpen it looks okay i'm hoping that some of these guys develop or some of these guys actually are like kind of glitchy players that do well we have robertson who's going to be the closer our starting rotation currently looks like this not too sure about these guys but i hope that nola and wheeler can really carry that and then when you look at the starting rotation or the starting lineup i should say Dahl, McCutcheon, Harper, Hoskins, Real Muto, Gregorius, Nick Williams, Bryson Stott is going to get the start at short, and then Scott Kingery to round up the lineup. I think it looks really good. I think, you know, this could be a little bit better, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Season one is going to be a, a feel out season. See who does well, see who does poorly, see who we keep, and then we'll go from there. So our budget should be at least above zero now and we should be good going forward let's go see how the season plays out i'll see you guys at draft day all right so the draft's over and i wish i would have known that the phillies don't have a second round pick a competitive balance pick or a pick you know from like the first round to the third round i felt like every team got to pick like four players before i got my second pick so let's go look at this draft pick Pittsburgh got this absolutely insane shortstop. He looks unreal. Really good speed. Fielding is actually not terrible. And then when you look at his hitting stats, this guy's going to be really good. A potential, 71 overall, 93. Or no, 71 overall, A potential. So yeah, 93 potential. Whew, this guy looks insane. So like I said, we didn't have a pick from one to three. So there was like a couple other picks in between that. And after that, the draft was rough. It was very, very tough. And I know there was a guy who said that I was cheating in my drafts. This is proof. I don't do that stuff. This is this is pretty tough, right? One okay pick. A pitcher, 67 overall with 86 potential. And then after that, we've got uh yikes. Whew. This is a this is a tough one. So I mean you guys can see what happened. It it's not the best. Let's just let's get on with it. All right, so season's about to end. We're not a playoff team. There's just no way we do it unless this is the tiebreaker. And if that's the case, what's going on here? Oh, we won the division. Okay, I was like, why is it not? Why is it not skipping to the the, the postseason? 89 and 74. We won the division. Really? Normally, that's like not even close. So we won the by a half game. Huh? What's going on here? I, I I I guess. I mean, I don't I don't get that, but I I guess that's okay. Uh, whatever, it's whatever. Um, so let's take a look at the league leaders. See what we're looking at here. It's look Bryce Harper is up there for a lot of categories, right? He's he's at least in the mix. Like he may not have won a lot, but he was at least in the mix. You know, second, third, fourth. He was up there. So Zach Wheeler's the only pitcher I saw up there. Losses. Vince Velasquez. Okay. And Smarja. Saves. Robertson's in the mix. Okay. So at least there were some like okay performances. We didn't have a league leader, but we had some players who were up in the top 10 for some of those categories. MVP was Yelich and Upton. Justin Upton. I'm sorry. Who? I've never seen him do that before. That is an absolutely insane year for Justin Upton. Okay. Cy Young is Garrett Cole and Luis Castillo. Eric Sogard with the batting title. Reliever of the year, Chafin and Rogers. And then rookie of the year, the usual guys. So there we go. So let's take a look at our pitching. Aaron Nola, that is a Cy Young caliber season if I've ever seen one. How did he not win it? And then Zach Wheeler, an okay season. All right. Um, Jeff Smarja, like I said, was just a one-year guy. He actually did pretty solid. So I'm pretty happy with that. Zach Eflin did struggle a bit, and Vince, Vince Velasquez is putting up Cy Young numbers too. Oh, 
Okay. Um, Alec Mills was pretty atrocious, so we may need to find a new long reliever. Sir Anthony Dominguez was pretty bad as well. Like, the whip's high, the ERA's high. Victor Arano, ERA's low. Whip is kind of high, but we can work with that. Jose Alvarez was solid. Adam Morgan was solid. Hector Neris, 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 whatever it is, that was solid as well. And, ooh, David Robertson struggled a little bit, a little bit. So, here and there, you know, some players were good, some players were bad. We'll work on that. Jay Bruce as a bench bat, not terrible. Josh Harrison was okay. Roman Quinn was pretty bad. And Davey Grullon. Dude, Davey Grullon is showing he needs to get in the lineup somehow. So, we'll, we're going to have to figure it out. David Dahl, 270, almost an 800 OPS, almost 20 home runs. Not really a leadoff hitter, so that's really what I'm going to be looking for in the offseason. I don't know where he's going to be in the lineup or how we're going to get him involved in the lineup, but that's definitely something that we need. Or maybe it's just McCutcheon who needs to be the leadoff guy and then let maybe David Dahl hit in the two spot because Andrew McCutcheon is putting up some solid numbers and he's only got one year left on the deal. So, I mean, it's not like it's terrible. Bryce Harper had a great year, 31 home runs, almost 100 RBIs, 49 doubles, almost a 300 average. So, I mean, this is, those are some good numbers. 36 home runs for Reese, Reese Hoskins, 830 OPS. JT Real Muto, that's a good season. 274, 810 OPS, almost 20 home runs. Okay, we can work with that. Didi Gregorius did really well. Uh, I'm thinking about bringing him back, maybe play third base for us again, and hopefully give us another season or two of good production. Nick Williams was really solid off the bench as the DH hitter in limited appearances, did quite well. Bryson Stott in his first first season, you know, that's I'm not going to freak out about first season numbers like that. Still pretty solid though. The OPS is a little low, but I definitely think we can work on that. Potential and overall are going up. And then Scott Kingery hit 271, so that's good to see for our second baseman 834 OPS too so here we go taking on the Cubs seeing what we can do against them and we're eliminated it's okay season one we at least made the postseason and to be honest I didn't think we were gonna make the postseason so at least we're doing something Astros defeat the Dodgers and here we go who retired Francisco Liriano sounds good exclusive negotiations JT Realmuto gotta bring him back thing is that's a lot of money we already have some big contracts as it is we have Davey Grillon but I know JT Ramuto is going to be one of the best catchers in baseball let's just let's just throw him the money we'll give him that player option hopefully he accepts that looking at the rest of our negotiations Jose Alvarez good lefty to have for the usually usually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this up to about four million that's a good contract. We'll do a club option. If things go poorly, we can just let him walk. But that's a good start right there. And then Didi Gregorius. We need a third baseman. I'm going to hold off just in case there's another third baseman that looks just as good for a similar price range. Let's just go take a look and see how much he wants for like a year. You know what? Five million. That's, that's nothing. So like I said, we're going to hold off for now. Let's see what we can do. Arbitration wise, I'm going to offer it to everyone except for Goslin and Odubel Herrera just you know I think it's time to move on from those guys contract wise I'm gonna give it to everybody Ronald Torres um he could be our backup second baseman so I'm gonna offer him a contract we'll offer everybody else a contract as well um for the most part maybe not like Mikey Modic or guys like that all right so this is what we're gonna do to start season two it's gonna be the only trade we make and it's gonna be for John Means Eflin and Yel De Los Santos and Bailey falter or we, we'll go with this guy austin listy and that is going to be the move i uh, will go bailey falter it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things but that's going to be the only move i want a solid guy in the rotation nola wheeler means velasquez and ranger suarez our bullpen the only change is going to be edgar garcia is coming up from the minors and then you guys can see we probably need some help in the bullpen with the rest of the the minors so lineup wise it's going to be the same I'm going to leave it as is. Alec Baum has come up from the minors. And I don't know where to get him involved with the team. Because when you look at it, yeah, I guess we could start him at third. But then I'm like, well, we just signed Didi Gregorius. We might as well use him. Alec Baum's close to being ready. I think maybe a season on the bench and then bring him in. I think it's probably the move going forward. Obviously, we have 81 overall. Uh, Davey Grillon, where it's like, we got to get him involved somehow too. How are we going to do this? We are going to need a new center fielder after this year. This is going to be McCutcheon's last season. 
so we'll have to wait and see what we do budget wise we should be pretty fine after this year like we're gonna lose mccutcheon's big contract and maybe somebody else but for the most part we're gonna spend that money on most likely a center fielder anyways so it's basically we're gonna lose mccutcheon's contract and spend it on a new center fielder because we have doll we have harper corners are locked up hoskins at first catcher real muto third base is gonna be bomb in the end so we're pretty set with the lineup i feel like pitching rotation and center field really are gonna be the only changes going forward so i think we're set with the team all right so we're in september we're at the 90 win mark we actually got off to a fantastic start this season we were like 40 and 16 at one point it seems like we've cooled off a bit but based on how many wins we have we definitely should make the postseason and oh we're a wild card team at 98 and 64 taking on the diamondbacks okay so the mets won two games more than us that's tough that's tough we are the 10th ranked team in baseball but it looks like we got a league leader aaron nola went off this year which is good to see when we look at some other stats david dolls up there harper real muto nice love to see that let's take a look at some of the other like league leading stats i do want to improve probably the pitching so like looking at some of these league leading stats for like offense doesn't really appeal to me right now but looking at pitching and stuff there's definitely like an area that i want to improve chase anderson i'm sorry what chase anderson's up there with wins mike soroka's on the red Sox now what is this um looking at some of the other stats aaron nola had a fantastic year 203 era talk about like just a just a good season right awards you're gonna tell me he didn't win the cy young with like a season like that who won it instead walker bueller okay okay <laughs> what i just don't understand that but all right esteban florial is now part of the kansas city organization he hit 308 this year talk about a season let's take a look at the pitching alec mills bounce back season wow okay completely different pitcher Edgar Garcia in his first like full I guess it's not like full season but for the most part it was like a, it was like a f double what he's did before pretty solid year Adam Morgan not as good as he was last year so it may be time to look for a new lefty in the bullpen Hector Neris probably going to be his last season just one of those players that does like once one or two good years and then after that kind of falls off Jose Alvarez fantastic same amount of innings as last year walks went down strikeouts about the same really good year 0.89 whip yes sir anthony dominguez bounce back season love to see that the whip though the whip is way too high and he might be a player i look to trade just because of that and victor arano not necessarily a closer so it's looking like we're gonna need a closer for sure so starting pitching i just don't know how aaron nola doesn't win cy young with the season like that it just doesn't make any sense to me zach wheeler oh man the whip's not bad the era is a little high john means had a good year Vince Velasquez wasn't bad for a four and then Ranger Suarez for a five I'll take that is it good is it the best no would I like to improve on it yes looking at Spencer Howard he potentially could be one of those guys that we replace you know replace what in the four or five spot in the lineup and then we have a couple other guys who are starting to develop pretty quickly so we might have to find a way to get them involved Nick Pavetta could be one of those guys that comes into the middle of the bullpen takes over for what uh Neris maybe we'll, we'll have to see what we can do let's take a look at the lineup see how everybody did Jay Bruce hit for no average but he did add 11 home runs Ronald Torres was purely just a platoon guy not terrible Roman Quinn okay Davey Grillon what happened dude what happened what happened Alec Baum in his first season not terrible OPS is a little low, but obviously he was a bench bat, so we can't expect too much from him. So kind of like this, like, am I upset with anything? Not really. They're bench bats. They don't really get that many opportunities. Andrew McCutcheon, fantastic season. You know, like his last year, send him off on a good note. Great year. Four, 403 on base percentage. You got to love it. So looking at David Dahl, great year again. 23 home runs. OPS went up. Average went up. Everything went up. Yes. Bryce Harper, 40 home runs. Crazy season crazy crazy good year gotta love it reese hoskins almost hit 300 with 31 home runs 880 ops yes please jt real muto's having a great great rebuild so far 932 ops please keep that up 
Didi Gregorius hit 20 home runs, you know, a little bit, a step back from last year. I did give him a two year contract, but a club option. So we'll let him walk and we'll let Alec Baum take over at third. Bryson Stott hit 260, so he's improving. OPS went up, slugging on base, average, home runs, basically everything. So gotta love that. Nick Williams hit almost 300, so maybe, I mean, only 67 at bats, but is he the guy that could take over? for you know McCutcheon I don't know I think we could spend the money and get a really good center fielder and Scott Kingery hit 278 so the OPS did dip a little bit but still a very comparable year to what he did last year so we have one shot and let's see what we can do let's quick manage this one just to kind of get a feel see how we're doing Aaron Nola is going to be on the mound as we take on the D-backs they have Mondesi okay that's a new addition but Looks like a pretty normal team. What a way to start. 3-0. Really, we get one back. So it's a 3-1 to one game. But do they have Luis Castillo on the mound? That team is sick. What? What a team. Okay, the Diamondbacks are going to be nasty with it, huh? All right, so we got we to gotta score some runs. We're... Cole Calhoun goes deep. It's a four-run game, and I feel like... That might that might be it, right? Like that's that's tough. Five to one. We got two more innings to do something. Can we do it? I just let Adam Morgan hit. What am I doing? Like I've, I've, I'm defeated at this point. And yeah, like we got two hit by Luis Castillo for the most part. He had 11 strikeouts. We we didn't stand a chance. Like we just we got absolutely manhandled by the D-backs and the Angels defeat the Reds. Okay. So let's move forward. I just, what's, what are we gonna do with this team? We gotta figure something out. And um, let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna let him walk. I'm gonna take this option because he was actually pretty good. I'm gonna decline this one. I'm gonna accept Jose Alvarez option for 2 million because he's been fantastic for a, a lefty arm in the bullpen. Alex Morgan, or at Alex, Adam Morgan. We're gonna let him walk. I'm gonna decline Jay Bruce. Jose Osuna was a guy I signed in free agency. And you know what? He can be kind of that extra bat off the bench. Not bad. Alex, it's a, it's a $1.5 million contract. It's not bad. I'm going to let everybody else walk, though. And then we'll move forward with this free agency period. 40 man. Uh, a couple guys there I might pick up, but we'll see. We'll see. Looking at this, let's see. We'll offer it to everybody. Contracts wise, definitely need to offer it to everybody here. Most of them are going to be like free uh, minor leaguers anyway, so we got to make sure we keep them. So, pitching wise, I'm actually pretty comfortable with it. Zach Wheeler might be a player I look to trade, but outside of that, I'm pretty happy with the young guys who are developing. So I'm not I'm not worried about having to spend money for starting pitching. Bullpen, we need a closer. We need a true closer, and maybe Craig Kimbrell is that guy. Maybe not. Maybe Sean Doolittle for a season. Corey Knable. We need some sort of closer and we need to find him. I don't know where. Is Ryan Presley that guy? We're, we just need a closer. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Catcher, we're set. First base, we're set. Second base, we're good. Third base, we're fine. Shortstop, we're fine. Everybody's developing. We're in a really good spot. The outfield is where I want to find a guy. Center field's looking a little weak. Could David Dahl play center field? That's a possibility. Um, I definitely think we. I might look for a trade. If not, I might try to find somebody here and see if we can find Domingo Santana, huh? That might be the move. Season three, couple changes, and we're also gonna make a trade because we might be in a budget crisis after this offseason. There were a couple players I was looking in free agency, you know, Baez, Correa, Lindor. I thought about maybe bringing in Bryce Harper's best friend, Chris Bryant in. But then I was looking through our budget and I was I was kind of seeing some things and you guys can see some of the players that I signed and that's okay. But Aaron Nola becomes a free agent after this year. And I was like, oh, we can't lose our ace like that would just completely ruin things. So Zach Wheeler needs to go. He's just paid too much right now. So and I'm expecting Aaron Nola to want more than 23 million. So we're going to need that money anyways. Let's go trade. Aaron Nola because we're, we're gonna have to pay him and we're we're or not whoa, whoa whoa back up back up back up back up 
Let's go trade Zach Wheeler. We're going to have to pay Aaron Nola. Let's go figure that out. All right, so after like just crazy amount of different trade scenarios here and there, Zach Wheeler's contract is not the easiest to get rid of. So we're going to acquire Sonny Gray, Hernan Perez, and Charlie Culberson for Zach Wheeler. Davey Gruyon, which I don't really want to do, right? Like that's a player that, you know, I, I, I kind of wanted to keep just as a, a good bench bat, but he, he is kind of extra, right? He is not like something that we need to hold on to. We could also get this trade done with Rafael Marchand, which you know what I might do instead because he's definitely not going to feature in this rebuild. And then Jeremy Ruth, Withrow, Withrow, Withrow's his name, 23 years old, 70 overall. He looks really good. And I'm trying to see if there's like, what about this guy? way too much all right is there anybody else we can include in this deal to get it done you know what jeremy withrow works let's do the deal let's get it done so obviously getting rid of wheeler really opens up a lot of money right it gives us over the million mark when we were sitting around like seven hundred thousand for a budget so looking at our rotation nola means gray suarez and velasquez and then our bullpen it is starting to get a little full that could be a little bit of an issue but potentially some of these guys won't be around so nick pavetta yeah, he's in the long relief spot, but he potentially could move into the middle relief spot and we could leave Mills as that long relief guy. Edgar Garcia could leave, you know, Arano could struggle. We could get rid of him, but this is what our bullpen's looking like. Obviously, Osuna's a big addition at that closer spot. I looked at different options, just couldn't really find another closer. So lineup wise, this is what we're going to rock with. Domingo Santana is going to be that left field or DH option. And then obviously our bench is the same as it was last year. Alec Baum has taken over at third base. And I felt like that's why I didn't want to go out and get someone like Chris Bryant. Even though that would be a great acquisition for the team. We still need to pay Nola. And we have Alec Baum who's going to be a great third baseman for us. This is the team. I think it looks really good. And I think next year it's only going to be even better. Let's go see how we're going to be in season three. We'll take a look, see where we're ranked. It should be around like the 10 spot. We're actually number four, which is great. So the reason I acquired Sonny Gray was because his contract expires at the end of the year. And that way we don't have to worry about paying anybody except for Aaron Nola. Season three, let's get it done. September time. Here we go. What are we going to do with this team? How are we going to finish the year off? We're almost at that 90 win mark, which I feel like hasn't been good enough. We really need to start getting closer to that 100 win mark. And unless we, we finish off the season really strong, I don't think we're going to make it, which we're not. We still won the division, though. 95 wins 67 losses and we're taking on the brewers i did not want to face the brewers they've been kind of a bogey team for us throughout this entire rebuild let me let me show you so milwaukee we got swept right and then i know we played them again and i'm trying to find it right here we we split this this one but like we just we just didn't have any good series against the brewers so they were a team I was like, uh-oh, please don't let us face them. So, no league leaders, which a little disappointing, but there's some new names on some teams. Lindor is on the Braves. I, no, Lindor was on the the Cubs. Devers on the Braves. Oh, okay. So, league leading stats, you know, a lot, a lot of Diamondbacks. Jeez, what? Diamondbacks are making some moves in this rebuild. Gee, holy cow insane so here we go let's take a look at some of the pitching stats i only see john means up there which is a little worrisome so maybe the pitching is an area that we still really need to improve we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see what we can do with them we do have some awards though so that's good to see a gold glove not what i was looking for but at least we have some sort of an award cy youngs are there batting titles reliever of the year i tried to go after ryan presley but he went back to the astros instead Andrew Vaughn is with the Giants now. He got Rookie of the Year along with Julio Rodriguez. So let's take a look at our pitching, see how it went. So Nick Pavetta is probably going to be a trade piece going forward. Just not really the long reliever we're looking for. Alec Mills has been a lot better. So I feel like he's going to be the guy to go to. Victor Rano is not really panning out either. So he might be a trade piece to just him and Pavetta. Maybe just like a two for one to get a really good bullpen arm. Edgar Garcia is actually kind of nasty. Uh, he's been really good. Jose Alvarez, again, just been really good. Maybe he's that lefty we need in that bullpen that we can rely on. Alex Claudio was great. Sir Anthony Dominguez was fantastic. And Osuna was good as well. How many saves did he finish the year with? 43 and 7 blown. 
So uh, Aaron Nola's putting up Cy Young numbers, and that's why I wanted to open up that cap space so that we could pay him in the last season of the rebuild. John Means putting up, oh, he's making Aaron Nola work for that, that ace spot in the rotation. Sonny Gray wasn't fantastic, but he's not sticking around. Ranger Suarez was fantastic, and so was Vince Velasquez. Let's take a look at our farm system. Spencer Howard is going to be that five. Like, no reason not to, right? We do have some other really good arms. They're just not going to feature in this rebuild, unfortunately. If this was like a five or six year rebuild, we definitely have one of the best rotations in baseball, hands down. So, let's see how our bench did. Roman Quinn, not bad, actually. Okay, Roman Quinn. You know, limited appearances, but still really solid season. And Davey Grillon, he wants to be a starter, probably should be a starter somewhere. So he might be a player I look to trade, maybe get someone really good in return. Let's see how the rest of the team did. David Dahl, great, great pickup for us. Like, unbelievable. Bryson Stott, only getting better. You know, the average, the OP, like he's just slowly improving every single season. Gotta love it. Bryce Harper, cooled off a little bit, but still a really good year. You know, almost 30 home runs. OPS is 850, like to see it. Reese Hoskins got even better than last year, which is crazy to think about. Domingo Santana cooled off from, you know, his previous year, which does suck. And the year before that, which it sucks because we just paid him, right? But hopefully he'll have a bounce back season. JT Real Muto still putting up really good numbers. He did cool off a bit, but it's still a pretty solid season. Alec Baum in his first full year, you know what? building blocks right you got those stepping stones you got to start somewhere and build your way up nick williams again very limited appearances but did quite well maybe we should have just let him you know take over in center field and go forward but i have faith with the team scott kingery had his worst season so far and hopefully he has a bounce back after that i don't really think we have anybody in the farm system that would like come up i signed a couple like uh c potential players like this troyanowski who could be a bench bat for us. But outside of that, we don't really have anybody to look forward to. Um, These guys were signed as just like platoon guys if they ever made it. But again, C potential, they were just free agents that were available. This was the guy we drafted in season one, but you know he's not gonna be overtaking Stott, Kingery, or Baum. So we're pretty set offensively here. I feel like the lineup's really good. I feel like the pitching staff's really good. So hopefully this can get us past the Brewers get us into the for, uh, next round of the playoffs and of course it's it's not going to like why why would i think that we have a good enough team you know why why would i think that we just we just never do it just never is our day i'm gonna have faith in our guy ranger suarez going against adrian hauser that's a good start reese hoskin gets us the lead and then we'll take a look at their team on the next inning freddie freeman okay that's really the only change to the team. I mean, they got Brian O'Grady and John Birdie starting. So where where is this crazy, crazy team that caused us so much trouble this season? Couldn't score there. That was a tough one. Alec Baum goes deep, makes it a two-run game. So that's good. We do have a two-run lead. And so far, so good. JT Real Muto adds a third. I'm liking what I see. And Ranger Suarez a lot. Oh, no. Christian Yelich, come on. You got to be kidding me, dude. Don't be doing that to me. Bryce Harper, I need you here. All right. So Suarez is done. We're going to go to Mills. Hopefully he can get us out of this. Alec Mills. Yes. Perfect. All right. Trey Supak. We got to do something. We can't get knocked out again. Domingo Santana is like, hey, man, I got you. Yes, I had a rough season, but we're going to we're gonna do some work in the postseason. So Alec Mills is up. We're going to take him out. We're going to go Nick Williams. He gets out, unfortunately. And, ooh, here we go. Couldn't score there. Let's go to our setup guy, Dominguez. And double play. Perfect. Just what you want. And any insurance runs? Ooh, we could. We could. Hold on. Pinch hit. And let's go. Ooh. Let's go Grillon. Fielder's choice. Tough, tough, tough. All right. Osuna, close the door for me, please. Boom, perfect. We're still alive. Whew. This is this is our year. I can feel it. We're going to come back. We're going to sweep the next round of the postseason. And then we're going to go to the World Series. That's the hope. Nola, I need you to come in here. I need you to keep us alive. Please. We're going against Dylan File. And no, Yelich. Freeman, stop doing that. What is going... Why can't Nola perform in the postseason? Wasn't it him that got a little roughed up last 
last uh this like decisive game of the series like what is going on here obviously the offense isn't doing their job they only have one hit through five innings we're letting dylan file destroy us defile us he is defiling us right now he's taking us apart so we need to do something like this is just not not good enough that's what it comes down to it's not two home runs for yelich we're, we're getting destroyed by dylan file i i went silent there what is going on with the team where's the offense where's the where's anything the dodgers defeat the twins and let's go forward Aaron Nola, I we're gonna have a sit down and I'm gonna offer you this contract but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hey if you want this money and you give me another performance like that in any situation regular season postseason World Series whatever it is I'm coming for you and I will send you to the Orioles and I will make sure your career falls apart because that was ridiculous i can't be having that in my rebuilds man come on <laughs> that is just not good enough we'll throw you the money though and uh let's let's we gotta we gotta keep alvarez he's just too good and then we'll we'll take this claudio option as well let the rest of the guys walk and i think we need a manager so let me offer a couple guys some contracts Arbitration, I'm gonna offer it to everybody. A couple guys I'm not thinking about like wanting on the team, probably gonna end up trading them. Contracts wise though, I'm most likely gonna offer it to everybody except for like like deep potential players, anything like that. I'm still in the off season. We're about to start spring training actually, but I'm gonna try to get rid of Pivetta and Arano. And I'm actually gonna do that by tra 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 trading for Trevor Hildenberger. Had quite a few good seasons, so might as well bring him in help out that bullpen so let's see if we can do any other moves for season four hopefully win you know the division some playoff series get a world series you know what what we're supposed to be doing in these rebuilds so here we go season four let's take a look at the team because again not much has changed besides that one trade that we did we're gonna rock with this as our starting rotation again i want to get these young guys involved i want to get some of these good pitchers that we've been having involved as well when we look at our bullpen, Alec Mills has been good the last few seasons. Claudio, Garcia, Alvarez, Dominguez, Osuna, Hildenberger is really the only new arm. So, so far so good. And then we took a look at our lineup. I mean, okay, Bryce Harper's not going to lead off. But, I mean, you kind of get the idea of what the team is looking like. It's dangerous. And, whew, I, we, we have to win. Like, there's no reason why we shouldn't. We have a crazy good team. We have these young players who are only getting better as well. We've got a crazy good power, like Harper, Hoskins, Santana, Real Muto right in the middle. You got Baum who's got some power as well. I mean, look at these guys. They're insane. There's no reason why we shouldn't get to the postseason and actually win a series. We brought in Lucius Fox as a, a backup, and that's really about it. You know, the team looks good. Budget's been sitting around a million for the last couple seasons, and I mean... We have a lot of players on waivers, which they might get picked up by other teams like Romero, Yovera, Medina, which does worry me if we were to continue this rebuild and do a revisit, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. We're ranked eighth in baseball. We're just kind of in the middle of the pack for a lot of things, but hopefully this is our season. Hopefully we get some wins. Let's finish it off. We've hit September and we're almost at 100 wins. Like this honestly is an insane team and i was not expecting this like what are we doing how many we're at 106 wins we still have half the month to play and this that's just wild this is insane this team is so good what what is going on 118 and 44 what shit, shit. let's let's take a second to like realize what what did we just do here and our starting pitching wasn't amazing what so yeah 118 44 no big deal you know it, it happens apparently and uh we're third in baseball now so somebody was like i'm gonna learn how to hit i'm gonna learn how to score runs get home runs steal bases uh pitch close games whatever it is we were insane absolutely we we were we were beyond 
like we were just unstoppable basically what it comes down to ranger suarez best winning percentage most saves for osuna shoutouts for nola complete games for nola and innings pitched for nola so wow <laughs> wow so insane numbers so far so good it doesn't look like crazy offensive numbers bryce harper's up there real muto's up there but it's not oh okay here santana hoskins doll okay there we go that's what i like to see dolls up there hoskins is up there doll was our leadoff hitter so for him to have like the most rbis on the team is a little a little insane we got means howard was a rookie no all five of our pitchers were in like the league leading charts like that's great to see that is awesome suarez velasquez means nola all for the least amount of losses saves osuna had the most wow we we just took over the league howard was rookie of the year gold glove for stott severino mvp no that's not how that works also 56 homers for glaber you know just no big deal and then let's see what the the rest of this plays out how how we had league leading stats for so many different categories how did we not get an award nola three era with a 110 whip john means 278 with a 111 whip right i mean look at these attributes look at these statistics look at what these guys are putting up ranger suarez is putting up really good numbers vince vince velasquez is putting up career numbers we got spencer howard for his rookie season put up really good numbers not too sure why the potential went down but that's a good season alec mills alec mills is like yo you need a long reliever i got you don't worry about it he's the homie Alex Claudio, he's putting up good numbers too. We got Edgar Garcia. Didn't expect this from him. He's a little bit of a, a little bit of a beast. Jose Alvarez, you guys need a lefty? Pick up Jose Alvarez. He put up a two ERA every single season, and the whip has been under 1.2. Trevor Hildenberger was great. This team was unbelievable. Sir Anthony Dominguez was the worst pitcher. And like that's like one pitcher. I'm fine with that. Osuna had under a one whip. And let's take a look at the lineup. Jose Osuna, our bench bat, decided to hit 11 home runs at 800 OPS, almost a 300 average. Lucius Fox, just a cool 300 average. Torres did well. Quinn did well. Davey, Davey Gruyon's back on the, the hitting spree. So our bench was fantastic. And then David Dahl had 107 RBIs in the leadoff spot. 107, almost in 1,000 OPS. That is an insane number. Scott Kingery got back on that, like, I'm going to be good train. 22 home runs. The stolen bases aren't there. That's fine. You know, but the OPS is almost at 800. Bryce Harper, 30 home runs, 92 RBIs. Great season. Reese Hoskins, 104 RBIs, 40 home runs. Fantastic season. But our leadoff hitter had the most RBIs on the team. That is mental. Domingo Santana had 40 home runs, 103 RBIs. That is why we paid him the big bucks. Actually, we only pay him like seven million a year, so I can't say it was the big bucks. Nick Williams had a pretty solid season in 81 at bats. Alec Baum, potential's gone down. That's tough. Not a bad season though. And then Bryson Stott, he's only getting better. Like he's getting really good. So this team is set. Like this team is stacked for the future. We'll take a budget peak. Yeah, I mean, Reese Hoskins becomes a free agent. Dol oh wow, big free agents this year. Ooh. -hoo. Money might be at a very, very tight spot. Ooh, that that might be a little bit of trouble. We That would be something we would definitely have to look at. We'll look at that again at the end of the playoffs. But Milwaukee, once again, let's get our revenge. And boom, there it is. The sweep. We're taking on the Cubs now. And Aaron Nola is going to go here. John Means, Ranger Suarez. Boom. We're going to go like that. Vince Velasquez is day one. That's fine. It's going against Jarrell Cotton. We lost. Aaron Nola, we lost. John Means, we win. Suarez win. Spencer Howard gets us the loss. We're one game away. Oh, no. Please don't do this to me. Maybe we should have gone to somebody else instead of Spencer Howard. We need to win the next two games to go to the World Series. Aaron Nola, take the wheel. Lead us to victory. Jemai Jones, Corey Dickerson, Lindor, Mitch Haniger. This is a completely different Cubs lineup. Holy cow. We're going against Jarrell Cotton, which we lost the first time we faced him. And we are in... Aaron Nola. I... Oh, boy. 
it's ooh, you know you know it's it's just you and me ooh, ooh we, little just a little grudge is being held with this after this rebuild I, I don't know if I can ever get you in another rebuild ever again after what you've done to me this rebuild I am about to lose it please get this run in Ooh, all right, this is the inning. Come on, give me something. One run. Alec Baum, I need you here. Thank you, Bryson Stott. Mm, Aaron Nolary coming out. I'm, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Nick Williams. Um, Couple righties coming up. Let's go Garcia. Double play, perfect. Here we go. This is our inning. We're, we got a tie ball game, so that's at least something to like be happy about. Ooh, couple lefties coming up. Let's go pitching change. Let's go Alvarez. Caught stealing. That was good. Um, boom. Oh, this is uh, this is not good. Not good. Hildenberger. Whew, gets us out of it. There we go. Let's go. Single. No, that's not. Double play. Come on. Get us. Just get the outs. Please. There we go. We're going to walk it off here. I can feel it. This is our inning. Let's go. Gruyon. That was Quinn. Whatever. Quinn, get on base. I need you to get on base. We can steal with him. Doesn't work. Single. Bryce Harper. Man, I need you there, man. I need you to do something. Um, lefty, lefty, lefty. Ooh, let's go Claudio. Perfect. One, two, three inning. Hoskins. Real Muto. That's a walk. Okay. Anybody, just hit the baseball. Please. Bases are loaded. Now we go. Let's go Osuna. I feel it. Please, Osuna, please. Strikes out. Are you kidding me? Uh, let's go Alec Mills. One, two, three inning. Boom. Anything, guys. Like, I need you here. What are you, what are you guys doing? Swing the bat. Hit the baseball. Put it into play. Walk it off. Walk it off. Oh, my gosh. We're not going to score. Oh, thank God. There we go. All right. One more game. There's just, my my heart rate is just through the roof right now. Like if there was a monitor on me right now, it would oh boy, it just would not be in a good place. Can we win this one? Can we just can we make this one easy work? Of course not. Where we're gonna go down one nothing. There we go, Real Muto. Real Muto gets us on the board, and uh, so far, that's where has this been? Where has this offense been? Where, where where has it been my whole life? I need the... Ah! What? John Means just went deep. Aaron Nola. Just, can you take... Can you take... Some notes. John Means is out here hitting home runs. And he's pitching a gem. I mean, is it that hard? You know? At least just pitch a gem. You know, you don't have to hit a home run, but... Huh. What is going on? Let's uh let's just keep going. Oh yeah, well let's let's take you out. Let's not let's not ruin this. Um Edgar Garcia, come in please. Shut the door. We're going to the World Series. We're taking on the Yankees. Yes. <laughs> John Means just pitched. We're going to we're going to move him down, but Aaron Nola is going to take day 1. John Means and then let's go let's go Ranger and let's go Spencer Howard in the 4 spot. So Whew, day one, here we go. Boom, we lose. What what a surprise, right? What a surprise. This next one, we lose. All right, we get the win. We get the loss. So we're one game away from being knocked out of the World Series, which would be a huge, huge bummer. But at least we made the World Series this time. Aaron Nola, please. Please. I like if you if you just absolutely lose i mean they got trey turner mookie bats like th what is this team like come on there's one run all right so at least it was just one it's it's only one we can come back from one see there we go we get that run in we're in a good spot so far so good i'm liking what i'm seeing right everything's hunky dory everything's going great sack fly two one You know, against my better judgment, I gave, you know, I had the faith in him. I was like, he's gonna, he's gonna lead us to victory. He's gonna give us what we need. He's gonna be the man 
to just just win us some games and just 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 don't do it do you you just don't do it okay we're back in it there we go we're back in it i need mills to just give me like one more one more out here who's this austin hedges sit down oh my god we got out of it all right we're down two bottom nine to keep our season alive okay that's a good start we're gonna pinch run we're gonna pinch run roman quinn come on that's what i'm talking about get that speed a fly out and the season's over i'm letting you guys know right now i am never ever trading for aaron nola or using aaron nola in a rebuild ever again okay if i see a comment saying you should trade for aaron nola i will ban you from the channel got that we have that it's clear we're we're just just so we know just so you know just so we're clear we're, we're not doing that so awards playoff mvp was bryce harper jimer candelario apparently was the world series mvp but let's go jesus Christ. i can't believe that just happened like john means john means hit a home run right he put the team on his back and everything just kind of, you know, went like that. So that's the team. We'll take a look at the lineup as well. Financially, we are going to be in a bit of a pickle. You probably will have to pick and choose who you keep. Might have to make a couple trades um, like Reese Hoskins. Do you keep him? David Dahl, I would keep like he's really good. Scott Kingery, try to keep him as well. Claudio, you could let go. Means clearly shows that he can be your ace. Dominguez, not sold on him. So it's kind of picking and choosing how you want to build around it. Would you trade Domingo Santana? There's a lot that you could do with this team still. Have the money to build around, you know, Bryce Harper, Kingery, Baum, uh, Stott. There's still some really good pieces to work around. You still got a lot of good players coming up through the, the farm system, especially pitchers, where I would... I would trade Nola, but that's just me. I hope you enjoyed the Phillies rebuild. There was a, a crazy range of emotions that you saw, and I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, guys, get in the comment section. Let me know what you would do with this Phillies team if you were to rebuild them. Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave you two videos on screen now. My most recent and also one that YouTube recommends you check out. Go and give them a watch if you haven't already. Remember, all social media links are down below. Go follow that Twitch. I'll be live again again tonight we're gonna to be playing some franchise playing some diamond dynasty come hang out just come chill we'll have some fun i'll catch you all in the next video peace